Hey everyone, this is going to be a review of an aftermarket lens hood and lens adapter for the Fujifilm X100. But I also want to tell you how to first remove the little thread retaining ring that comes stock on your Fuji X100. Uh, so as you know, uh, there's a thread protector ring that uh, comes attached to it uh, from the factory. And in order to install any kind of a lens adapter or hood, you have to first remove that. And I've seen some forum postings uh, saying that it's a little bit difficult to remove this ring. And that is true because the threads are very small or tight. It can be hard to remove because you need a lot of uh, force or friction around the circumference of it in order to remove it. So you can't just unscrew it like this with your... I've loosened it up now, but from the factory, you can't really unscrew it very easily just with your fingertips. You need to have a... a pressure all around the full, almost the full circumference of the entire uh, retaining ring in order to remove it. So there are really two ways to do that. Um, the first way is you can just take the stock lens cap that comes with the X100 and just turn it counterclockwise. Push it in towards the camera and turn it counterclockwise. Kind of push hard and then turn it and then take it off. And then this should be a little bit loose. And then you can just unscrew it. Another way to do it is to just grasp it with your thumb and finger like this, with your index finger pointing down, grasp it like this, and as you as you can see, I'm kind of grasping it like that so that most of my hand is around it, and then just push in a little bit and twist hard, and it'll come loose. As soon as it's loose, then you can just twist it off with your fingertips very easily, but it's just that initial loosening part that's the hard part. So this is the protecting retaining ring that comes on the Fujifilm X100 and uh, I set that aside. And what it does, it's going to be hard to see in this video, but there are some threads right here and it just protects those threads uh, you know, from knocks and dings and stuff like that. But you do need to remove that in order to install any kind of lens hood or, or um, lens adapter. So, I'm going to install the lens hood and lens adapter that I got from eBay for about $50. This is it here, it's the JJC brand. I got it from an eBay seller uh, for about $50. It's very equivalent to the uh, Fuji one that sells for about $130. So I highly recommend you get the aftermarket one. It's just a lot cheaper. Again, I got it from eBay, but you can probably you might be able to find it from other sellers as well. Um, and uh, it's made in China. You know, it's not made by Fuji, but it's quite equivalent. So these are the pieces here that came in the box. They're metal and you know, very nice, uh, almost the same color as the uh, Fuji body and stuff like that. So right here is the adapter ring, and this is the hood. So let me first screw the adapter ring on, which I need to do um, in order to attach the hood. This adapter ring will also enable you to use any 49 millimeter filters on your Fujifilm X100. So I have a UV filter on order, and what I plan to do is just have that permanently on. You know, and I won't use the uh, stock cap anymore because the stock cap will not work. Uh, with this aftermarket adapter, or even with the Fuji uh, lens adapter as well. But anyway, let's screw this on, and it just goes on very easily, and just make sure that it's threaded, not crooked, because you don't want to strip your threads. All right, so that's on. So as I mentioned, this enables you, this has right here some threads. So this enables you to attach any 49 millimeter filter in front of the lens. So like a UV filter, as I mentioned, will go on here and it will just be sort of permanent protection for my lens. The best part about this setup though is that you can also, you can attach the filter but you can also use the hood at the same time because the hood doesn't screw into the threads. The hood has actually a bayonet mount. So the hood will just go on like this and take a quarter of a turn and just attach on like that. So when you're out shooting and stuff, you can attach the hood and you know just be shooting and it's very easy to just take the hood off with a quarter of a turn like that and it just comes right off and then the hood can just be stored or whatever. And as I mentioned again, you can have a, a lens filter on here as well as use the hood at the same time. So that's the hood and the lens adapter. Uh, again, I recommend, I recommend it over the Fuji uh, model because it's just cheaper and, and the quality is still quite good. It has, as you can see, these little, I don't know if you can see behind here, in between, but there's these little slits or slots um, in the lens hood, and that enables you to still see your frame pretty well when you're taking a picture. You can see through the little uh, slits in the lens hood, so it's not completely solid. So yeah, you can see it a little bit better if I hold it at this angle. So it's a very nice design, and I do recommend it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I touched on this, you cannot use the stock lens cap with this adapter. So 
uh, I mean, probably for now, I'm not going to use any cap. Once I get my UV filter, which should be arriving in a few days, uh, I won't use any cap because I feel like the UV filter is just enough, enough protection. But as you can see, this does go over it, but it will not stay. It's very loose. So if I walk around with this, it's going to fall off. So another option for you is once you've got a filter on here, you can get just a cheapy plastic 49 millimeter lens cap. Usually they're the pinch kind. It has like a little center pinch kind, and that will just go on top of your filter. So that's another option as well in terms of lens caps. So that's just been my quick review of the aftermarket Fujifilm X100 lens adapter and lens hood that I got off eBay for about $50. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them and please subscribe. I'll be doing my review of the Fuji X100. And uh, so let me take a quick picture of you while I have you here. I'm on F20. I'm a little bit too close because, you know, the food, unless I go into macro mode. There we go. Unless I go into macro mode, the Fuji X, X100 can't focus real, real close. So. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos, especially my review of the X100.